everybody, welcome back to DS Lego stuff and stuff. Um, I haven't posted long form videos in a long time because um, the iPad has not had any space on it, and now it does, so I can finally get back to this. Um, so, anyway, the engine in this video is an SCV in line 4. Now, I created my SCV design way over a year ago at this point. At the beginning of this channel. Um, and I created it because I didn't have very many crank pieces. And this design uses a crank which is shared between the piston and the valve, which is why I call it Shared Crank Valve, or SCV. Now, with this design, the 90 degree offset between the valve and the piston is achieved by the fact that this connecting rod here is um, pointing perpendicular to the connecting rod for the piston, and then that is made to drive a vertical SVS valve um, using 90 degree rocker arms. Actually, Raphael's Lego Workshop created basically the same thing without ever knowing I had done it. And the difference was that he used uh, rockers that pivoted from the other side, so that puts the valves closer to the cylinders. As you can see, the valves are kind of far from the cylinders, although they're not as far on this engine as my original SCV engine, which is because these things here allow the small connecting rod to be farther out than the valve. So here's what the valves look like. Instead of the normal um, one by one Technic bricks on the outside and just an opening in the middle, I use these windows and that means the valve is actually fully exposed, or as, as exposed as it can be for more of the time. These valves actually have a longer stroke than the one stud stroke that you would want, um, ideally, for a valve built with the Technic bricks. So, here is an inside view of the engine. You can see that's the manifold. And, whoa, there's all the pistons and valves and stuff, and it does have clear cylinder walls, clear and smooth cylinder walls. This was my first 4x4 engine. I think it was, I can't remember because I built this a while ago, but... Uh, I got these on my birthday. Um, I got a bunch of pieces on my birthday from Bricks and Minifigs, and that allowed me to build this. And, yeah, now I can build pieces with these panels for the cylinders. I can build engines, rather. And... As you can see, currently has a one three two four uh, firing order, but um, in the shorts that I have already posted on this engine, it actually had a one two three four firing order. I changed that because it sort of mitigates the rocking couple. A little bit. 
because that way instead of having one giant rocking couple going the length of the engine and it just shakes like this once every revolution now you have two smaller rocking couples so I think it makes a bit makes it a bit smoother and it's easy to change the firing order because the movement of the piston is linked to the movement of the valve there's no camshaft to adjust or anything you just change the way the cranks are oriented and you're done I do plan to make a video trying out um, all the different possible firing orders so stay tuned for that let's see if I can do this all right it worked so now that it's back together let's go and run it got plenty of torque, and when you stop it, it starts right up again. <laughs> <laughs> 